No, okay. it's, uh, just, uh, it's a cooking vessel. Can I look at it? Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Yeah. And there is a fire from the sun. <laughs> Which is uh, okay. Uh, and they are, they are going to prepare so, uh, food. So, Vikram, you want to talk, Vikram? <laughs> uh, so basically, again, means these are 10 square meter dishes. This is uh, like to cook for 500 students. So we have these two mirrors reflecting light on the heat exchanger, and this heat exchanger is for the first time we, which we developed what we call the honeycomb heat exchanger, and that we had to develop because we wanted to heat oil. So what you see here is a thermic fluid system where uh, hot oil is circulated into the loop. The temperature of the oil would go around 200 degrees centigrade. And at 200 degree hot oil will go into the kitchen which is on the ground floor and cook and then again come up in that loop and again keep on circulating. Yeah. We have a storage tank where you can put, uh, store the hot oil so that you can also cook at night. Yeah. Another advantage is that you can also make tra 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 things which were not possible with solar. That means uh, with, uh, till now, means it's solar energy, it was only possible to boil things, rice, dal, vegetable. But now, because of oil system, we're able to make chapatis, we're able to fry and do all traditional dishes. So, this is bringing the technology one, more, one step nearer to what people want. One system to do everything and also to cook at any time and every time you want. And the hot oil is coming and going to the tank, this is a storage tank for the oil. And you keep on circulating it and using it. So you can also store the hot oil when you want to cook at night. And then in case you don't have enough sun, you still have to cook, you don't want to cook in a different vessel. You have a small boiler there which can be started and then you can uh, heat 